What is going on and welcome to Take On The World. Did not know that. Wow. You want to be my wife? Oh, this is going to go downhill real quick. Johnny's back in a number two chair. Um, I got locked up. We have been all around the world in III. <laughs> uh, From we, London to the Bay. So we took a trip down to Florida. 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 That's how, you, that's how they, um, you ever watch, uh, was it the Cold Case Files? Yes. And uh, the guy's voice is like really soothing. I like to listen to it when I go to sleep. <laughs> but he's always like some fucked up story. So then I end up having a weird dream. But uh, that's how he pronounces Florida. Florida. Florida, man. Meanwhile, Jane snuck down to Florida. So we drove. Oh, we drove. We drove a car down to Florida, stopped at the. What kind of car did we drive? We drove a Camaro. <laughs> Fucking Camaro, these two fat fuckers in a Camaro. And it was comfortable. It was like the Batmobile. And that motherfucker got good gas mileage. <clears throat> yes, it did. But I think better than the, the car we brought I home. I think it did too. Um, of course, we were coming uphill on the way home. <laughs> I think it was all uh, down to Florida. Is all da- well, that's why they say down to Florida. It's all downhill. Um, we are coming out of the mountains of Pennsylvania here too. We stopped. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> we stopped the south of the border because uh, that was the, <laughs> it was so cool. That was my childhood thing to do. It was all lit up we when we got there. Poncho's balls. Yep, we drove right into Poncho's balls. <laughs> uh, Is that his name, Poncho? Yeah, Pedro. Yeah. Pedro, Pedro. Pedro. Yeah, Pedro Poncho. Yeah. One ten, one twenty. I just gotta say that thing is like, if you're woke, you wouldn't like that place. No. <laughs> so don't take ninety five uh, on the border, of North Carolina, <laughs> South Carolina. Go around it. Hey, I, I'm confused. As is, is it open? Like, what do you do while you're there? When it when it, during the day? We well, stopped at night just to sleep. What's well, just like a gift shop and. But is it open? I mean, you said it was closed. Right? Well, it was closed for a while. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, that We used to see signs for like 100 miles before you got there. And on the way, we didn't see but one or two signs. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. And then all of like half the lights were broken out and shit. Uh, but it's still, all the neon looked cool coming up. The, it did, yeah. yeah. It definitely was not what I was expecting. I thought the south of the border was... Literally, like, just the gift shop. I didn't know it was, like, multiple. Right. And a casino. And a restaurant. And a, and a re- hotel. M- many, many other restaurants. Uh, the, the reptile house. The reptile house. But it seems like a, 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 a truck, a big truck stop. Yeah, it's touristy. Yeah. It no, is. No doubt. It is what it is. Uh, so we went to the Kissimmee area, which, it was nice, but I, I didn't care for, like, the hustle and bustle. Everything was just... Like you go ten miles, you're in traffic for thirty minutes. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't like that. That's just too that's, many people. <clears throat> well, you're gonna get in the Orlando area. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, you're like right outside of Orlando. It's pretty much Orlando. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, they they did do a good job of keeping it moving. Like there was traffic, but yeah, but, yeah I don't know. I just don't like the traffic. <laughs> and then, um, they, they, God, there's no shortage of stores down there. No. Uh, so we and, we well, spent two days there, day and a half. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's say two days. Okay, two days. And uh, let me tell you what, Kissimmee, you know, up your beer game. Yeah, you better. <laughs> we went, we stopped at this, what we would consider here, well, it's something that would have like local shit and and you know, um, more of a selection of what would you call it. Microbrews, I guess. Craft brews, microbrews. We get in there and it's all like normal shit you would find. Yeah. Like I think our our uh, sheets and uh, up here have probably uh, about the same selection. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit better. Yeah. But we asked the lady. We said, "Uh, you know, where where's the something about a better place we can go?" She's uh the Walmart. I'm like what? Wow, fucking Walmart. And then Walmart wasn't much better. They didn't have shit. Then we found another place, and we we went in. There was more of a liquor store, but it had it had a nice cooler full of of different stuff. Oddities. And we we picked up the, I don't know some weird shit. What was that one we had? It was like that mango thing. Was it a mango or a peach beer? The mango. But it was like twelve percent. Yeah, that that one 
okay. It was it was a little harsh, the, but the twelve percent was good. The twelve percent was the good part. Uh, but the place was a mess. It was like it was like they just opened it, didn't stock the shelves yet. And I actually went on, I go on Google, I, I rate, rate stores and stuff. And after we left there, oh, we that's right. back in the hotel, I rated the store. <laughs> and uh, they responded right away saying, oh, we'll try to get straightened up for the next time you come in. We'll be next time, bitches. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I, I would go back there, but because we got that good uh, peanut butter whiskey there. Oh, squirrel. Squirrel. So if you can get squirrel peanut butter whiskey, spot on. Yes. Um, and it's not too expensive. This show is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find the other great shows on the network, head over to the Deluxe Edition Network.com. What is going on? And welcome to Take On the World. Did not know that. Wow. You want to be my wife? Oh, this is going to go downhill real quick. 